The Griffins inside the 23-yard line. Shot from outside the shooter circle and a penalty corner coming for the Griffins as it was touched by a bantam foot. Last penalty corner for the Griffins. They did not get a shot off. This is their second of the first half. Each side has had two penalty corners. Neither side has gotten a shot off yet. Look at how many Griffins are forward for the penalty corner. If the Bantams' defense can get this out, they're almost assured of a goal. But the best offense in the nation, Sam Berger on the shaft of the stick. The rebound kick, Sam Berger. Still not clear. Griffins, another chance. And it's another Sam Berger. Once, twice, thrice, Lori Berger comes up huge, and the Griffins will have possession, but no penalty corner. Cunningham has Brown back. Cunningham didn't know what to do with it, and the Griffins will take over, but it's batted right back to Cunningham. Cunningham having some issues along the near side, and she'll fire it towards the top of the key there, out towards... Catherine Devaney, Devaney's pass too far behind Tate, and Tate can't keep it in. We'll see if that will allow the Griffins to alleviate the pressure. Over to Russo, why not? All-time leading scorer in Griffin history. Russo with yet another goal in this one. 38 goals now on the season, and for Russo in her career. She now has 234 points. That's just an insane number, but the Bantam's looking for just one more goal here, and it's going to roll its way past the end line. Last touched by the Griffins, though, even though Devaney was trying to track that down. Bantam's have to play it back towards the 23-yard line, and here is a ball getting spanked towards Ali Slow. Slow has Brown near side. Slow wants to do it herself. And she'll wiggle it to Cunningham. Cunningham, good first couple of touches. Cunningham maintains possession, gets her pocket picked, works it back over to Quinlan. Quinlan into the shooter circle, saved by Crane, over to Finn. Finn, the turnaround shot on the doorstep, and it's forced on in! Kendall Brown ties it at twos! Just her sixth goal of the season. And we are knotted at doubles. Two for the Griffins and two for the Bantams with 27.56 left in Hartford. We have a brand new ball game. How can the Griffins respond? Last time it was with a goal right away. Although a misplay by O'Connell. It is a cold, not that windy night in Hartford, Connecticut. One of these teams will watch their season end, and they will see their all-time leading scorer whoop, as Cunningham goes down. Nice little trip there by O'Connell. Just normal, no cards, no reason for him. Good pass by Midledge over to Quinlan, and Quinlan will flip the field over. They get it to Solomini. Solomini going one-on-one. -on -one. Solomini inside the shooter circle. Right in front, the tournament shot, and it's Kelsey Finn! Finn finishes it, it's 3-2. to two. The Bantams with two goals in as many minutes turn a 2-1 deficit into a 3-2 lead. And timeout here on the field as Laura Ann Lane senses momentum shifting towards the Bantams. Phantoms, two goals in the last two minutes. They lead 3-2 with 27-10 left here in On regulation. As Rice, the senior out of Quakertown, Pennsylvania. Again, having issues with the pass, but it makes its way over to Tomsich. Tomsich poked away by Quinlan. Over to Finn. Finn going one on four. Finn still with it. Finn! Finn! Kelsey Finn can't finish it off! She beat everybody, but just couldn't turn the stick over in time. But it will be a penalty shot for Kelsey Finn. 
tripped up from behind. Finn, five for seven in her career in penalty shots. Three for three this year. Finn against Sarah Crane. The leading scorer all time in Bantam history. Makes it four to two. She went with the turf form assassin to the far corner and just beat Sarah Crane as Kelsey Finn stays perfect on the season in penalty shots and the Bantams have the first multi-goal lead for either side. It's 4-2. to two. The Griffin season, 5-3, the score from Hartford. Laurie Berger with nine saves in the game, standing tall at 5'3 in the cage for the Bantams. Sarah Crane did everything she could but Kelsey Finn and the Bantams offense just too much here in this second half. 